Yo what's up YouTube, Kempsey here and um, today I'm bringing you another tutorial and sorry if I didn't upload a video for 4-5 or five days um, I was really ill and yeah um, also in the last 2 days Monday and today I was really busy with uh, school and I will be really busy with school in the next 2-3 days so I will probably won't upload any videos before Friday or Saturday but you can accept the expect the next video on Friday or Saturday. It will be probably a spirit, um, but it also can be a tutorial. And another thing I wanted to say is thank you to Ira for this amazing crafty. Um, it's looking really sick, and I'm using it pretty much everywhere. I made a YouTube background for this or with this. I made the desktop background as you can see here, and I also made an iPhone background and this is what we're going to do in this tutorial I'm showing you how you can make your custom iPhone background and for this we start over here in Photoshop we click file new and we open up or we make a new <coughs> uh, file with uh, 640 pixels on 960 pixels so just click OK and this should open up and on this we're gonna go and design our iPhone background so I'm just gonna figure out where the middle is like if you're using the guidelines it should like stack at the middle of this and yeah now as first color you choose like a dark, bla uh, dark gray and as the second one you choose a black and then you just go on gradients tool this year and then choose the radial gradient which is the second one and then just go from the middle to the top and then you have like a gray um dot in the middle you can do this with every color you want to have in the middle um, I'm just choosing black to gray because I'm keeping that background in dark colors because as you probably know all those tags from apps like uh, Safari or options or that stuff uh, is white so if you put something white in the background here um, it's really hard to read like the text there so I'm keeping it pretty dark and yeah what I'm going to do now is just open up my gravity which is here and I'm just gonna drag and drop it in here like this so I'm gonna make it smaller tail a bit like so and then for example just put an overlay like this and then double click it, add some drop shadows, that's just uh, some basics like I did in background tutorials and that stuff you you just gonna design over here whatever you like to um, I, I don't think that there's any image size limit you can put on your iPhone I think it can be every size of an image and yeah now I'm just gonna add a pretty cool texture probably this one like this, just drag it over here. Well, I hate if the textures are like big as this one, but yeah. So should be like this. Just put it over here, like so, and then cause this one is like has yellow and greenish colors. I'm just going to open up the use iteration by clicking Control and U and put the saturation to to the left, minus 100 click OK and I'll put it under the text and just click Overlay and yeah, that, that's just some basics like you can add more textures if you want um, but I'm not gonna do this in this one I'm gonna keep this tutorial as short as possible so you're just gonna make a cool design um, I prefer dark colors because of the text on your iPhone 
um, or this background tutorial is also for your iPod because they got the same screen size. So yeah. Um, then we go back to Google, and in Google we just type in iPhone 4 or something like that. Go on pictures, and we search out a pretty cool picture where you see like the whole site full of ma uh, apps. Like wow, where is one? Great one here. So we got a great one. Save image as. Save it on desktop, and then just download it. Should be somewhere here now. Here it is. So we open it up with Photoshop, and then it should be here. And then I just drag, drop it over here. Put as first layer, as top layer, and then just make it as big, <coughs> like until you see the screen is exactly has exactly the same size then your design probably a bit bigger like this so now I see the screen actually got the same size than your actual design I'll just put the opacity down to about 50 and then you see um, how this would look at your actual iPhone or iPod, whatever. Um, and this little extra I'm gonna make like a grid. You see those apps here, and I'm making a grid between this. So I'll choose the brush to the hard brush and to about two pixels. Choose the color to white, and then the pen tool. And then just going through here from here to here or anything just stroke path select the brush tool press OK delete the path no. delete path and as you can see actually this one but it's not looking that good so I'm gonna go back here and I'm making it a bit bigger um, I think 4 pixels would be cool stroke the path and the lead path so you have it here and then you can just duplicate it and drag it to the next point like to the next thing here duplicate it between those icons here and then duplicate the last one and just rotate it that's actually like this Like that, okay. That like here, put down like that, and that should be. So, what you're going to do now is merge down all these grid layers that looks like this, and then choose the eraser. Um, put it to about 200 pixels and then just go over here at the sides make it like this okay, that's looking pretty cool you can do whatever you want to do with this grid now um, if you use like this it's looking like this um, you can put the opacity down to about 20 and it's looking like this or whatever, just play around with it. Um, later, if you have it on your iPhone, you have like every app in here. Uh, every app got its own field, its own place where it can be. Um, and yeah, that's looking pretty cool. So <clears throat> now you you can just design like your own design in the back here, and then add a grid or whatever you want to add here. Um, it's just pretty much up to you. <clears throat> and yeah I hope you enjoyed this tutorial that would be now you just go um, save for weapon devices and then just as PNG24 and then you just drag it on your iPhone with iTunes uh, as you would drag on normal picture and hope you all know how to change the background on iPhone <laughs> so I don't need to make a tutorial on this um, but yeah
um, I hope you enjoyed this um, I'm looking forward that I can I hopefully I'm hopefully able to upload a video at Friday or Saturday um, and yeah I'm not sure that about that yet but I hope and you should hope as well if you have any tutorial suggestions please leave them here um, as a comment or personal message me and yeah I made this tutorial because I never saw this done before I didn't saw it on YouTube or anywhere so I hope you really enjoy this tutorial and yeah probably uh, you are gonna make your own iPhone background this is not much work you can show out to others like YouTube backgrounds but it's for yourself if you wanna have your own iPhone background and don't wanna have like Google pictures or you need to pay for your backgrounds it's pretty cool and yeah so I hope you enjoyed please stay active on my channel please leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed this video and also if you aren't subscribed to my channel yeah please go and subscribe and yeah I'm all peace